Hello everyone, it's Jessica from Mrs. Stanford's class .blogspot.com here today to show you how to create a blog button or a header for your own blog. I know if you're just starting blogging or maybe you've been blogging for a little while and had somebody else create one for you, um, that always seems like the easy way out, but let me just tell you, it is so easy to create your own button for your blog that you really don't need to go out and pay somebody else to do it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you, that's mine right now, but let me just show you how easy it is. Um, if you have any shape, I used a special shape that I've created on my iPad, but you don't even have to do that. You can, um, let's just go with a regular, a lot of people do rectangular ones or square ones, just to make it plain and simple. Um, it doesn't need to be anything that's extraordinary. What I'm going, if I could click correctly, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag that shape. Um, maybe I want to take out that filler that they always give you. Let's make it a nice color, like that bright purple. Let's make the line on the outside pink, maybe. Let's make it a little thicker so we can actually see it. Oops, let's make the thickness thicker. There, we can see it now. Let's make it even thicker. I like it. There we go. You know what? I'm going off the page, so let's make it a little bit smaller so you guys can see what I'm doing. Center that. All right. And then what I'm going to do, if you just double click on it, it's going to open um, your format shape box. Um, a shadow, if you look at the bottom edge, oh my goodness, I'm pointing with my finger. If you're looking at this bottom edge, you're going to see a difference when I unclick shadow. There's a shadow. It's not that defined on this one, but um, I do like a shadow just to give it a little depth. I love to add glowing edges. Um, let's add blue to this. It kind of makes it like a border, just a little more um, fuzzy. And just to give it that cute little glow. Alright, so let's go with that. You can always add a reflection to add um, more definition down here. Or maybe even add a 3D shape to kind of give it that bubble. Okay, so that was quick. But you can always mess around with each one of those buttons. See what it does. You know, give yourself a um, different kind of looking shape. Now I'm just going to add my text on, let's just say we're going to do it for my blog. I'm going to go find one of the fonts. I'm just going to put Mrs. Stanford's class. So let's make class a little bit. Oops. I said it was easy, right? I swear it is. And then let's play with this shape. Kind of like, actually, let's make this one as big as it can go. And then let's just even this one out below. Let's just kind of guesstimate 150 maybe. Nope, definitely a lot bigger than that. Let's try 200. Nope. Let's play a little guessing game, see how big we can. Just to kind of make it the same um, width as the top writing. Too big. Oh dear, our guesstimation is off. There we go. Alright, so maybe I just want something plain and simple like that. I, as you see, mine's a little more extravagant. Kind of played with the um, letters, gave them a background glow, um, did them in different colors, added a picture down at the bottom. But you can play with the shapes, add some pictures. Um, but as you see, it's plain and simple. And then all you have to do is go up to blog or file, save as. You're going to go here and save it as a PNG file, which is an image file. You're going to want to make sure under options that you're under dots per square inch at least 300 so it's not grainy. I'm just going to save it to the desktop under um, new button just so I don't mess anything up. Hit save. And then when I go to my blog, I can 
upload it as a header right here under design. I'm going to go to layout. And then you're going to see right here, you can hit edit. And it's going to ask you for an image. I would just remove this image, click instead of um, title and description. Let me just show you. I'll click remove image. Then you're going to choose from files. I would find that file um, at my desktop, my new button. Make sure it's the right thing. Hit choose and then hit instead of title and description and then you are going to hit save. I'm not going to because I don't want to get rid of my background or my header that I have now. So I hope this tutorial was informational and helped you figure out how to make a blog button. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at jessica.stanford at me.com. Thanks.